Once I'm set up, I'm going to want to organize my blog. And one of the best ways to do this is to set up categories. Categories are a, a dynamic feature of your WordPress blog. And essentially, each time you write an article, you assign it to a category. In this first article here, my article is posted in the personal category. The one below here is posted in the business category. In this way, my users can quickly get to a specific category of information by going over here to my categories list and seeing that I have two articles in business or two articles in personal. I have one article that is uncategorized. Let's go create a new category. I simply go down here to log in, enter my username and password, of course, and click the login button and I'll be presented then with the dashboard. In the dashboard I click manage and in the sub tabs I click categories and you'll see that I now have a list of categories that I've allocated to my system. The workgroup category was not showing up on the home page and that's because there are zero posts in that category. Once I create an article and assign it to the workgroup category, the workgroup category will appear on that home page navigation. Let's create a new category. I can do that in one of two ways. I can go up here to the top and add new, or I can simply scroll to the bottom here and add a new category. First I'll enter a category name, and in this case I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to call it private articles. The category slug is the same name, but just a URL friendly version of it. So in this case, it would look like this, private dash articles with lowercase. I can assign it to a category parent, and this essentially means that I can create subcategories of existing categories, and I can go farther on down to create sub subcategories. Let me show you how that works. We'll create this as a subcategory of my personal category and then I can create a, uh, a description. This is my private stuff. And then just off screen here there's an add category button. I'll click that button and I'm now adding the category. It tells me that it's added and I scroll back up here to my category list and you can see that I now have a personal category with uh, or a private articles category in the personal. I'm actually going to refresh the page here and show you what it looks like when you revisit the page. It will actually show that now as a subcategory of my personal category. And there are zero articles in this uh, category right now, so it's not showing up in my navigation yet. If at some point in the future I decide that I don't want to write for that particular category and I want to delete all references to it on the system, I can simply check this box and delete that entire category by selecting this delete button. And it goes away you can assign articles to multiple categories. And whenever I delete a category, any articles that have two categories assigned to them will retain that other category uh, in their, in their uh, allocation. Uh, any, that, uh, any that I delete that don't have a category assigned to them will just default to my uncategorized category. So that's how you add categories to your blog system.